What's up guys? Welcome back to Street Champs. I'm Derek the Designer. Today I got my bodybuilding homie Marisa on the podcast. Marisa, how you doing today? Doing amazing. Thank you for having me. Yes, I love that. So guys, if you guys didn't just hear that, she is a bodybuilder. When was your last competition? Uh, it was my first and uh well, I was going to say last, but like, not last, <laughs> but my first one. And your most recent. Uh, in November 2023, 11-11 actually, 23. Wow. What what weight class are you in? Is there like a small, medium, large type shit? So bodybuilding, um, they have, so it's like an umbrella term. It's bodybuilding, and there's an actual division of bodybuilding for men and women, and there's oh. a bunch of other divisions. So there's not weight class. I think there's one in the men's category where it is, and you have to be weighing no less than like 220 or 212 it's like something 212 like something like that wow um but at least for all the women there's like no um weight class it's all height class Mm. so um i'm one of the shorter girls so i'll always be like class a and so basically i compete against all the girls that are in my height class and from there whoever wins that height class like each person that wins their height class compete against each other for the overall. Ah. So it's mostly about height versus weight. Okay, okay. So A, it's like this is A, short person. Let's yeah. put him in A. Yeah, yeah. It's like five, I think it's like four, whatever, two, five, one, five, two, and then like class B, five, two to like five, six, or however they do it. So What about smaller than that? They don't have like the smallest? Uh, I think it's like four something. Oh, wow. Four something, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I would like to see cool. the world's smallest bodybuilder. Shoot. We should react to that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we should. I think at my bodybuilding show, there was a guy that was missing an arm and he competed. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's like some badasses. And then there was this one guy. Um, He was like 65. Wow. Like they have categories from 18 to like 75, just depending on how many people in that age range um, like register for it. So that's impressive. I gotta mm-hmm. start. I gotta start right now. Yeah, contact yeah. Jordan. You already know his number. Man. All right. Jordan. All right, guys. But we're here to do some reactions. Have you ever heard of Ren? Ren? No. No. Well, what do you think Ren is gonna be off the top? Well, Ren, Ren, Ren reminds me of this anime. Oh. So I'm thinking. Which anime? If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I thought there was a character from Death Note mm. named Ren. Do you guys know Death? Do you know Death Note? <gasps> yes. Okay, see, I'm the biggest anime freak. Is it? Is there someone named Ren? Maybe I, think I might it's be getting a Rem. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's similar. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, um, kind of like almost emo, Ooh. darkish vibes, kind of sad. Sad boy vibes. Yeah. It's not a phase, vibes. mom. Yeah, sad boy vibes. Let's see. This is High Ren, and uh, let's jump right into it. Yeah, this is already fucking sad. <laughs> Two seconds in. Yeah. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. 
and I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, but. All right, two minutes in. What do you think? Uh, giving me Mac or no, um. What's not Mac Miller? What is it? Macklemore? Yeah, mm. Macklemore vibes. Macklemore vibes, okay. And then it kind of reminds me of um, a Childish Gambino song. Ooh. It kind of gave the same vibes of like, he's like, how does it go? Uh, Sing it. Go. Uh, I just know it goes like, uh, I don't even know how it goes. Uh, come on. Uh, but it's like, uh, no, I can't even know. I can't even tell. It's like, because it's slow and fast, so I'm like, uh, but it reminds me of one of those, Macklemore. I better say, this is America? No. Okay, no, I was no. like. It's one of his older ones. <laughs> okay. It's 2005? It might be on that album. Okay. Okay, but it's cool. I, at first, I didn't like it, to be honest, mm -hmm. and now, I like, listening to the lyrics, it's really sad, mm -hmm. and so. All right, well, let's keep it going. Yeah. Found yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this 10-step program, rejoice All your problems will be gone, fucking dumb boy Nah mate, this time is different man, trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kinda doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me I am you, you are me, you are I I am we, we are one Split in two, that makes one So you see, you gotta kill you If you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving Delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected and the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglect it, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with the subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you. Say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal, you wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death of. Is this still giving you Death Note vibes? Uh, no. Um, may yes, like I need listening. To watch that. It is so good. I need to watch it. But anyway, yeah, no, sorry. It's really good. You are. Don't watch the live version on Netflix. Don't okay. Worry, but watch the one on uh, like Crunchyroll or no, I think they. I don't know where they have it, but they have it on Crunchyroll. Um, because I really liked how basically it was his ego and then higher self having a conversation and then mm -hmm. later on. He talks about, oh, um, you know, they said that Eminem already did it, like having a song about, like, your unconscious mind. So I was like, yeah, that's what I got from it. Um, what was your question? Did oh, it if it sounds like Death Note. So kind of not really, though. Not really. But I think but you're I still like it. I think you're, like, swinging at the right 
in the right area with that with that interpretation of the song like his vision of what he wanted it to be exactly his i think everyone i think everyone could relate to that some in some way oh 100 percent. i feel like i kind of relate to that now like with my own podcast of like that identity shift because mm-hmm. you, you know and i even think about it with like bodybuilding of that identity shift of like okay you're gonna feel comfortable carrying around tupperware <laughs> going out to eat like at restaurants like eating out of tupperware like i think i was two weeks into prep and uh we went to a wedding that he was a what is it like a groomsman in mm-hmm. and um shout out love what's that said shout out love i know right <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> and um i remember i'd never been to a wedding or anything any like event with an open bar and they had an open bar and when you're in prep like you can't have alcohol Ooh. so i was like damn but i asked my coach i'm like hey can i have like one and she's like yeah but you have to do more cardio but um i was trying to relate it back to this but um kind of struggling yeah yeah just like struggling and being like okay i gotta feel comfortable now like speaking in front of a mic i have to feel comfortable eating tupperware it's like telling people no like i don't want to go to that event because it's gonna tempt me or like no sorry like i can't have what you're eating but i'll eat this instead so it's kind of just like the your ego trying to protect you because you've never done it before Mm -hmm. and him is like that's what's going on with him and like the ego's telling him you don't want to do this music stuff it's like too scary and the higher self is like why not like why can't you do it Mm -hmm. this is what you're meant to do yeah i think and i I think relating it to the bodybuilding that's such a that's such a unique point that's like it's exactly why a bodybuilder should watch high ren hey that's true understands this in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division I live inside death the beginning of ends I am you, you are me, I am you, friend some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill but just as sure as the tide starts turning just as sure as the night has dawned just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch or shake So cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a climate to different sides When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students It wasn't David versus Goliath. 
It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Jeez. What'd you think? So when he started talking, have uh, you guys seen the, what's that movie um, where it's about the human trafficking? Um, it was out in theaters. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I do know exactly the movie. Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom, yes. So when he was talking to the camera, that's what it reminded me of. But everything he was saying, I was like, damn, that was really fucking deep. Like, I kind of want to cry. Definitely. Like, oh, my jeez. Definitely. I, I feel like a lot of people cry watching this. It's it probably resonates with a lot of people just uh, suffering in silence. You know? Yeah, agreed. I'm all sad vibes now. But that's Ren. Um, would would you would you check out more Ren just off that song? No. Oh. Only. Chat. chat. <laughs> Let her know in the comments what song she needs to hear to get her to be a Ren fan. Why not? Yeah, I'm like I'm the person where I don't watch scary movies. I okay. don't like looking at sad stuff. Okay. Like I, if my algorithm right now, it's all about animal sanctuaries. I'm like, I can't have this. I'm waking up all sad. I'm like, I need to <laughs> just have positivity around me. And this one makes me so sad. So I'm like, I'll go follow and support. But am I going to like go and listen to this on my way to work, mm -hmm. on my way to the gym, just going to bed? Probably not. That's fair. Probably but hey, not. there's sad stuff in the world. And, you know. That's true. Yeah. There's, there's always that one song for somebody. It's just not me. That's true. That's true. Chat, let us know what songs she, she should check out, and we'll get her back here to check those ones out, and we'll make a fan out of her yet. Yeah. Don't forget, though, guys, hit the subscribe button. Marisa, where can they follow you? On Instagram at Moisha, M-A-W-I-S-H-A, and then the podcast also on Instagram, Barbell Bodies. We'll have it in the show notes. Yes. I also got TikTok at Jim Marisa as well. Bow. All right, guys, you heard it here first. First, bah. I'm getting all tongue-tied. All right, y'all, peace. What's up guys? We just hit 4,000 subs. We're trying to make it 5,000. Help us out. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.